Suffolk singing sensation Leah Godbold first came to our attention last year when she won Ipswich's Got Talent 2013. Come round to Leah Godbold's house who won Ipswich's Got Talent last year. So how was that for you then? Oh, it was so much fun. The, the whole show was just like a little family really when we all put it together and it was, it was such a good show. And it was musical theme last year? Yeah, it was musical theme which... It suited me, down to fatigue, because I'm studying musical theatre in London at the minute, so yeah, it was good fun, really good fun. And what did you perform? I performed at something Ghost. It was, it was a musical made from the original film of Patrick Swayze and Dylan Moore, and um, it was a song called With You. So, yeah, it's, it's a bit of a depressing song. <laughs> <laughs> it seemed to go down alright, so, yeah. Do you think you swayed the audience, made them cry a bit, and that's what won it for you? Or? It's definitely a tear jerk, so, I don't know, it could have been. Tell us about your studies in London, then. Um, I'm currently in my second year on the BA Musical Theatre course at the London College of Music. For the West End, is that what you're aiming for? Yeah, um, ideally, yeah, but anything to do with music, I, I love, I kind of... And when I was like this high, I've sung the Spice Girls and everything, so... What would yeah. be your dream job to come out of this? Um, um, a lead role in the West End, I don't know. Any particular musical? Um, I love Nancy and Oliver, but that's not playing at the moment, so I'll say Elphaba in Wicked. That's... Which one's she, the wicked one? Or the, the wicked one. Well, she's actually not wicked, if you watch She's it. the green one, though. She's the green one. Right, she's okay. The green one. <laughs> <laughs> she's the green one. So will you be coming along to see this year's... I will, I'm on. back performing this year. So Fabulous. I'll be watching it anyway, yeah. And what will you be performing this year? I've got absolutely no idea. <laughs> I haven't even thought that far ahead yet. Do you think there'll be pressure on you this year, bearing in mind that you're obviously the reigning victim? <laughs> um, do you think people will be watching um, very carefully? Uh, well, I hope people will enjoy it. I guess they will be to a certain extent. So, yeah, I will be nervous just like I was last year. So the focus is on the contestants, so I'm just going back there to have a good time. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you think you gained, you know, reputation-wise or experience-wise from winning if you've um, got talent? So much. I've got, I've got work from winning if you've got talent. I, as it's part of my prize, I got um, the chance to perform at Jimmy's Farm's Christmas Fair. Um, so I did both days there and that was a lot of fun. And the second day, um, Jimmy himself actually watched me. Oh. And um, he invited me to play at his house for his private party for his mm. for his Christmas <laughs> too. So uh, my first paid gig was actually at Jimmy's house. Um, and then I've performed at the Unplugged Night there at Jimmy's Farm. And I'm now doing Jimmy's Festival in the summer. Brilliant. Do you have a voice for the people that are in it this year? Oh, just, just go for it. And if you, if you do have success from it, grab everything you get with both hands because you can create so many opportunities for yourself. What's about how would you advise they prepare for it? Um, Prepare, prepare, prepare. Don't just go out there on a whim and do what you want. Um, just sort of have a vision because I had a vision of sort of what I wanted my performance to look like, and I think if you have a focus, um, you'll achieve a, a lot more in your performance. But yeah, have fun. Just have fun with it. That's what. <laughs> Leah was also excited because on that morning she was going to have her first ever radio interview with breakfast presenter Wayne Bavin at Town 102. So are you excited? Yeah, it's going to be a bit of fun. Can't wait. <laughs> yeah, no. It looks, it looks quite posh in it, so we'll, we'll see how this goes. We've, we've bought Wayne a Big Mac as a present. Um, we've actually just had to stop off at McDonald's, so um, I hope he enjoys it. Well, thanks, Liam. <laughs> it's all right. It's really nice. I'm really pleased with my Big Mac. Thank you so much. <laughs> it's not a very good look. Can you hear? Can you I hear can me? I can hear you. I can yeah. hear you. So Ipswich has got talent is back this year. We have with us now last year's winner, Leah Godbold. Morning, Leah. Hello, you right? Uh, so, what's life been like since winning Ipswich has got talent last year? It's, it's been busy, I have to say, between um, doing my studies in London and coming back here. But yeah, it's been a great year. Come on. Yeah. So, how was your first radio interview? It was great. It was fun. It was fun. I mean, I can have a picture to put on on the website. You can put all your video in. I'm smart. I'm smart again. My legs are really hard.